the Jammer Pulse of Death. Um, this is a build that I've been uh, getting requests about for the last few weeks now because I guess people are joining them in either PvP or PvE and they're just taking everyone out with some simple skills. And, well, we did a video on this a long time ago, but not quite like this one because uh, this Jammer Pulse of Death does at least 141k per tick in pve and in pvp whew, i have gameplay of me hitting for 30k per tick in pvp i think it's normally around 20k 24k but i think those that are running either glass cannon or perfect glass canning I'm, I'm hitting them for like 30k per tick and they cannot survive against this pulse you can use this build in both pve or pvp it does not matter but I promise you, if you use this in PvP, it's going to upset some people. I mean, come on. Jammer Pulse of Death. Let's be real. All right, let's go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to bring to you a Jammer Pulse of Death build that you can use in both PvE or PvP. It does not matter. All you have to do is jam the enemy and watch them die. It's really freaking cool. Now, obviously, you can use your weapons and your other skills and all that to just help it out. But, I mean, I'm just going to show you how just the jammer pulse alone is a deadly SOB. So with that being said, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. And finally, shout out where you're from. It's always cool to see where everyone's from. Now, Jammer, Pulse of Death, Build. We're going to do the build breakdown first, then I'll show you the numbers at the targeting range, then we'll do some gameplay. I will add all of the timestamps later after the live premiere when it allows me to. So you can come back, check the comments, and I'll add the uh, timestamps, all right? So with that being said, let's jump into the build breakdown. Now, this is a da build. And starting off at the top, we have the Demolitionist Specialization. The Demolitionist Specialization is vital for this build. So before I even ah, get into all of the little details, let me just explain how this build is way more deadly than your normal Jammer Vile build, okay? So it's based off of two things, and this has everything to do with your Vile Mask. The Jammer Pulse will not hurt anybody without the Vial Mask. So the Vial Mask is very, very prominent in this build. Uh, the whole build is surrounded by this exotic. And it's because of the talent called Toxic Delivery. But there's two things that make this stronger. The first thing is status effects. The other thing is your concussion grenade. Well, I guess the first thing is your concussion. So it says right here, your total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade. And it's increased by your status effects. So you want to up your concussion grenade damage and up your status effects. And that's what I did with this build, okay? So the Demolitionist is vital because our concussion is now at 2 million damage. So just to give you a reference, right? A lot of people watch me use the jammer with the vial for years now. I've done it for years. I do it on this build right here, all right? This is my speed running build that I use for everything, even legendary content. I use the status effects build with everything. Speed run, like everything under the, under the sun. I've used it for everything. The thing about this and using the jammer is it does do damage but nowhere near the amount of damage that I do with the build I'm about to show you. And that's because you can see this concussion grenade is only at 1.4 million damage. So that's already 600k less than the build I'm showing you. All right. Now that's just the basis of the concussion damage part, right? So right off the bat, instead of 1.4 million that you would typically see on a status effects build, we now have 2 million. So right off the bat, the Vile Mask, it's, it goes off of 50%, right? So the 1.4 million on an old build would only garner you, you know, 700K. 
where this one with 2 million would garner you a million damage. And now that's before the status effects, because it says it's increased by your status effects. So right off the bat, I know that my concussion is at 2 million, which means that my ticks would already be around 100k per tick, because it ticks for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, a million damage, that's 100k per tick. So then the rest of the damage is increased by the status effects on the build. So what I did is I went with status effects and uh, explosive damage. So on the mask, we have status effects, obviously, because that comes with the exotic. You have to go three-piece China. Now, the reason why, and I've done testing, the reason why you have to do three-piece China is because the brand set bonuses got a big buff from Project Resolve. And now this makes it stronger than One Piece Golan and One Piece Electric. Because remember, Golan gear er, down here, One Piece gives you status effects, and then Electric, One Piece gives you status effects, right? So you can easily just use One Piece Golan and One Piece Electric for 20% status. But because China uh, got such a big buff, the three piece gives you 20% status effects. That's the equivalent of Golan and Electric put together. Not only that, but the two piece gives you 20% skill haste. And that is amazing. So instead of doing one piece China, Golan and Electric, do three piece China because you still get the status effects, but then you also get the skill haste. All right. So that's that's the big the big thing that I noticed when testing is you need the three piece china because you want not only the status effects but the skill haste. That's the big part is the skill haste because I believe yeah. So here's the one I I tested before, and you can see it's one piece china electric backpack and golden holster. It was good, but I found out that it doesn't have nearly the skill haste as three piece china. So where this one, the jammer would probably come back in, I don't know, 17 or 18 seconds. The one that I have now, it comes back every 15 seconds. So you get a better cooldown, and you also get that status effects. So you don't lose anything, but you actually gain quite a bit. So three-piece China is a must, because that one piece gives you explosives damage, and the three-piece gives you status effects. Now, the two-piece Grupo is also very, very vital because they upped the explosive damage on Grupo. So you get 20% explosives damage from Grupo Sombra just from using the two-piece. Now, skill damage does not play a big factor in this build. However, I am using skill damage for my secondary skill, which is the Seeker Mine. You could easily just go status effects and skill haste for everything and just get your pulse back quicker. However, your secondary skill is not going to hit nearly as hard. So I went with skill damage and status effects because I'm getting 20% from the China Light. I'm also getting skill haste from all of the mods. And I actually couldn't find uh, status effects and skill damage on the gloves. So I have skill haste here as well. So I do have quite a bit of skill haste on this build, but I wanted to spec into skill damage as well to get more damage overall from my secondary skill. Because remember, the explosive damage does increase the damage of my sticky or of my uh, seeker mine, but the skill damage would also help. So I'm trying to make the build as uh, synergized as possible. My weapon is hitting ridiculously hard. My pulse is hitting higher than I've ever seen a pulse ever hit. And the Seeker Mine is a one-hit knockout. Um, this build is pretty damn sick. But it has to be built this way because you have to have everything rolled to status effects. And you have to have two-piece Grupo with the three-piece China. That's the only way to get the numbers that I'm about to show you because this is the highest numbers I've ever seen on a Jammer Pulse build ever. Now, uh, we already talked about the Demolitionist. It's a must because it gives you more explosive damage, which increases your um, concussion grenade. Now, remember the China Light, the Grupo, all of that is to up the concussion grenade. And that's how we get the sucker up to that 2 million damage. All right. 
Now, talking about the weapons, I am only using the primary weapon, so you can use whatever secondary and sidearm you want. It does not matter. It will not hurt or make or break your build. However, you need to have the capacitor in your hands. If you don't, your jammer pulse will not hit as hard. The reason being is that the capacitor comes with damage to armor and damage to targets at a cover. This will increase your damage from your pulse, all right? And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but having the capacitor in your hands and then just hitting that jam, you hit around 141K per tick on armored enemies and around 126 to 127K per tick on just health. And then that's in PvE, like I said, in PvP, it drops it down to like 20 to 30k per tick, which is still ridiculous in PvP. Because in two pulse, three pulses, I'm killing people. They're they're sitting there using their med kits, you know, trying to get their armor back up. It's not gonna work because I can just pulse over and over and then throw out sticky bombs and then shoot you with this capacitor. I mean, there's so many things that are deadly using this build. Now, the capacitor here is sitting at 94.4k total damage. That is at expertise level 26, and everything's maxed out. AR, damage to armor, and damage to targets at a cover. Now, the reason why this weapon is so special is shooting enemies will build up a stack, and that, those stacks will increase your skill damage even further. Not only that, but if you use this with a skill build, every skill tier that is on that build will give you 7.5% weapon damage, which is half of a red core attribute. So every yellow core, we also get half of a red core applied to our weapon. And that is how we have the base damage up to 94.4K without using any reds. Again, use whatever other weapons you want, does not matter. As far as the skills, I highly recommend using a jammer pulse. And as your secondary skill, it needs to be something that explodes. Remember, you are using an explosive damage build. So Seeker Mines is a good one. Um, the, the Artillery Turret is a good one. Eh, I don't know. I, I would really just stick with the Seeker Mine and then just pulse everything. I mean, you'll, you'll easily take them out that way. I mean, you could use an Explosive Sticky Bomb. That could be dirty, but I don't know. Eh, for me, Seeker Mine's easy because I can sit back. I pulse them, which goes through walls and everything. And then I can just throw my Seeker Mine. And then if they push me, I can use my weapon. I mean, it's really easy to do. Not only that, but we have Creeping Death. So we only have to get one person on the jam, and then that Creeping Death can spread it to the other enemies. And we have Glass Cannon, which amplifies all of the damage that you're going to see. Pretty damn sick. Um, now, again, this build is not able without the Vial, so you have to have the Vial Mask. Now, this one is fully maxed out with Skill Haste for the mod. And again, we're using this for the toxic delivery talent that we are proccing from the pulse. Now, we do have three pieces of China Light. Let's start with the chess piece. Now, the chess piece has glass cannon for the talents that amplifies all the damage we deal by 25%. This is vital to get the dam uh, damage numbers that I'm showing you. As far as the brand set bonuses, you get 15% explosives damage, 20% skill haste, and 20% status effects. For the attributes, we have skill tier for the core, skill damage, status effects, and skill haste for that talent, or for that mod, my bad. Talking about talents, let's talk about the backpack talent. Here we go. Creeping Death. Now, this is on the China Light backpack. Whenever you apply a status effect, it can also apply to all enemies within 8 meters of that target. So whenever I hit them with that pulse, I hope that they're nearby other enemies, and then I can, boom, get them all on that pulse. Now, looking at the attributes, we have skill tier status effects and skill damage with a skill haste mod. Now, it's showing my base damage is higher. Oh, okay. Yeah, the capacitor's really at 120. Oh, okay, there we go. So when you're just going into your menu, your capacitor doesn't um, read your skill tiers. So it might not show the correct damage. Now that I'm going through my gear items, it's showing that I have all the skill tiers and now it's applying it to the capacitor. So my capacitor is actually at 120K base damage on this build, 120. 
And then you can see that under the stats right here for the capacitor. And if I move around and look at it again, you can see it's at 120. So it, it was at the 94 whatever, and that's what it is without all of the skill tiers. But now that it's reading my build, it can show you that I, it's at 120. Not bad. Now back to the China Light. For the backpack, status effect, skill damage, skill haste with that skill tier, and then creeping death. And then the last piece of China Light, the holster, status effects, and skill damage. Now the two-piece Grupo is vital. You can go skill haste if you want. You could go Golan and Electric if you want. But the explosives damage will help you more. You get 20% explosives damage, and this helps out your concussion. Remember, the base of the damage for your vial mass is off of your concussion. So you want to up the concussion first and then add status effects. So if we were to just add more status effects, it won't hit quite nearly as hard as it would with the explosive damage and status effects. So that's why we're using the two-piece Grupo. Now, two-piece Grupo with all yellows is hard to find. You're going to have to craft it or farm until your eyes bleed, but you will get them, I promise. So much so that I still don't have a good pair of gloves. I'm looking for skill damage and status effects, and I can only find one with skill haste. But regardless, that way you could roll a skill tier for the core attribute. We get crit hit damage and explosives damage from the Grupo Sombra brand set bonus. For the mass, skill haste, status effects, and for the knee pads, status effects, and skill damage. And that, my dear agents, is the build. Again, use whatever skills you want, but I highly recommend a pulse, jammer pulse, and whatever explosive skill you want. I'm choosing the Seeker Mind with this one just so I can sit back and just let the uh, skills do all the work. Now for the capacitor, this is uh, the stats for the capacitor. We're sitting at 120k weapon damage, 48k for PvP. We're only at 20 crit chance, 90 crit damage, and 75 headshot, and that's because we have no reds on this build at all. And don't forget about the armor damage and damage to targets out of cover. For the offensive tab, we're sitting at 81% all weapons damage bonus and 30% assault rifle damage bonus. So every time we're using the capacitor, we're sitting at 111% damage bonus total. Gear talents, we do have Glass Cannon, Toxic Delivery, and Creeping Death. For the defensive tab, we are over 800k armor, 363k health, and 10% explosives damage, but we do have some hazard because of our Vile Mask. But the rest of it is due to our watch level. So here's my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently at watch level 8,874. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you can copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a great build to use, I promise you. You don't even need to put expertise into this build. You just need to get the right pieces and put it together. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. But that's it for me. That is it for the build breakdown. If you found this helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We are now making our way to 103,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the ongoing support. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Oh, yeah. And roll that footage. Uh, bah! So testing out this jammer pulse of death just here at the targeting range. You can see I'm at 126k and 141k. So 141k to enemies with armor. So check this out. Boom, 141k. And then the rest, it's about 126k, I believe. Let's knock him out and I'll show you the numbers again. All right, here we go. 126 and 141 are going to be your numbers. Let's see if I can pulse them down there. Yep, 141 and 126. All right, let's get out of here. All right, what did I just 
get spawned into. So, I am at zero, zero. We are down by two. So I guess it spawned me into a game that just started. No worries. Agent Sounds down. good to me. There's a guy up top. Another guy right here. Got him. Ooh, this guy up top's ticking from us 20k. Holy crap. Oh, he got... How did he get me with that? Oh, man. Agent down. I was in mid-stride. An agent needs assistance. He still got me with that. Dang. All right, I'll get him with this one, though. There we go. There, eat that, brother. Boost. About to activate. There we go. That should knock him out. Boost now active. Maybe not. Agent down. The boost is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. Oof. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, man, I got him. That's hilarious. Is there still a guy up here? He's on the other side. Yo, my ticks on him, 20k. I'm hitting him for 20k per tick. There's a guy underneath me. Let's see what happens over here. He's down the alleyway. Keep it going. Oh, I'm hitting someone for 30k a tick. Holy crap. Yo, 30k a tick on PvP? I've never heard of that. 30k. Must be wearing, like, perfect glass. Yeah, I'm hitting someone for... Yeah, some crazy numbers. Got you, bro. One person just backed out. I'm sending you a specialization supply drop. No, we're doing good. Hmm. They're over near Craze. No one near us. We're up by one. Get the special. Hostile striker drone detected. Yeah, they're not going that way anymore. They're just going to go far right now. Friendly claiming the supply drop. You have special. Specialization supply drop has been claimed by an ally. An agent needs assistance. Yo, I'm already at 36 million Hostile damage. That's crazy. Agent down. Mm -hmm. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. No, we're good. They're gonna go far we're right though. Yeah, they're all far right. It was because we had them over there, uh, up top. So now they're going to try to take it to the street. 
Let's see if they're far right. Hostile stinger hive detected. Pretty sure they are. Yep. Oh, he Final got me. Critical. I jammed. Oh man. I hit the jam, but Agent I didn't release it. Oh, dang. All right. Mm. That one I shouldn't have died. I, I hit the jam. I just didn't release it. You have to hold it and then release. Stupid me. All right. Come on. So now I have two deaths when it should be one. Whatever. It is what it is. We're down by one now because of my carelessness. Yeah, I need to watch out for that uh, Seeker Mine. It's a one hit. They have a sniper. Yep, they most definitely have a sniper. Boost about to come online. I'm gonna hit him with this demo right upside his skull. Boost online. Allies are acquiring the boost. Allies have acquired the boost. All right, we have armor. Down by one. Yeah, that sniper's still there, dude. Please be careful. I got him with the pulse. Oh, got him with the seeker mine. Bro. Got one guy with the pulse and one guy with the seeker mine. Let's go. GG's. Hostile striker drone detected. Uh, it's still their spawn. Yeah. All right. Hostile well, the thing about detected. the pulses is, is I can hit them in their spawn. See. Look at, look at these numbers. I'm hitting them for 20k, 30k per tick. Look at that. I just killed one with my pulse. I just killed two with my pulse. About to do it again. Got him. Look at that. Look at these ticks. 20 and 30k per tick. That's crazy with this weapon. That is crazy. The ropes have run out of reinforcements. You can win this. I'm not going over there though. Yeah, why are you guys in the come on. Yeah, that's a guaranteed death if you're gonna do that. Dang. That guy tried. I'll give it to him. only two left. Yo, I'm at 55 million damage. I'm hitting them for 20k per tick. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. The specialization supply drop was just picked up by a friendly. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Oh, I barely, barely got that one. Nope, still hitting them for 20k a tick. That's crazy. They're just going to stay in there the rest. Hostile stinger hive detected. Boost about to activate. Boost is about to come up. Time's almost out. All right, boost is up. Boost now active. Hostile striker drone detected. The boost is being taken by allies. Mm. The 
boost has been taken by allies. An agent gained assistance. Resources are gone. It's up to you now. Yo, you guys are gonna let them come back by rushing into their spawn like that. So dumb. They have 20 seconds. We're up by two kills. Like, just chill. You guys keep going in there and dying. Fifteen seconds. They have to come out here. All right. Ten seconds. They're just gonna lose, so it's all good. GGs. 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 You won. The well jammer done. pulse of death. I think I got I don't know three or four jammer kills there. That was insane. Insane. Really cool. All right, come on, show us, show us the uh, podium. Let's see it. Conflict PVP four v four PVP first team to twenty kills and we just won. Hey, let's go. One point nine million XP MVP. I went nine, two, and three. Sixty-five point nine million damage with a pulse build. Let's go. Now for PVE gameplay, I'm just going to randomly match make on heroic. Help somebody out. There we go. You have received an and invite. whatever they're doing will help them out, and that will be your PvE gameplay portion of the video. And then we might do a little bit more PvP. Let's see. Let's see how fast this is. Keep moving. We need to clear oh, okay, the so we're doing what is this? Air and space. Military explosive residue detected. All right, let's go up here. Got that. Up there. Keep moving. You still got two halls to clear. There we go. I mean, we're starting this mission late, but we'll see uh, how much damage we can do with just really our skills for the most part. Oh, where's that other guy at? Oh, come on. Let's go. There you go. Hostile radio intercepted. Divisions on my six! Millennia. So cut through the planetarium. We gotta secure that ordinance. Come on. Open it up. Boom. They're all on fire up there. See, I'm just, it's just hit markers non stop. Non stop. <laughs> They're stuck. Good job. chaos there. That was pretty fun. Keep it going. Someone else is using a uh, status effects build too. They're using fire. Moving. 
Mission's almost over. Yeah, I'll probably do some more PvP after this. Because this mission's going really quick. As evidenced by these images. At one point, more than three point five billion years ago, up to one third of the Martian surface could have been covered by ocean. Martian has sent back to the Look at those hit markers. That's crazy. Look at that. And whoever's using the fire on top of it, this is just so deadly. Holy moly. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That was cool. Alright, open it up. Boom. Hmm. All right, we're moving. Let's go. Scan for parts. Scan, scan, scan. Move, move. Go, go, go. Yo, they're back there hitting all the loot and stuff. That's hilarious. Well, the two skill builds are just taking care of business. A oh, I'm, I'm hitting a 150-something tick now. Oh, that was cool. 160. What's that guy still shooting at, though? That would be the missile, then. Please neutralize that fucking thing by any means necessary. There we go. Damn it. The salvage crew just ran into those reinforcements. They need backup. Keep it together. Shut him down! Mm. up. Hmm. Oh. Snap. Oh, to my right. Oh, dude, a shotgunner just came out and slapped me. Oh, took out three of us. Oh, crap. Oh, that guy has the Bullet King. That's why his weapon's shooting like that. He's shooting the Bullet King. GG's. I got hit by the sniper. Or this uh, shoddy. Oh, another guy just died. Oh, crap. Oh, here's another shoddy on me. Get him, Bullet King. Yo, if you saw that uh, shoddy hit me, just say I saw that in uh, the comments. Dang. Oh man, this guy's using what is that? A P4 or a police M4? A police M4 with a striker shield. What's that? A bullet king? Nice. Very nice. Thank you. There we go. And that should be it. That should be. Very nice. Throw in the fact that the settlements can scavenge those workbenches and tools, and I'd say it's been a pretty good day. 
GG's. Let's see what happened. I did 600 million damage. And I don't even think I was in here that long. Very nice. I love it. I love it. And that was on Heroic and a team. And I was really just hitting my skills. Explosive damage dealt 179 million. Damn. Not bad. I mean, a little PvE. Never hurt anyone. And here we are for some conflict PvP gameplay. It's going to be 4v4 PvP. Let's see what uh, game mode we're going to be playing. Hmm. I kind of want to do team elimination. Not going to lie. We'll do skirmish. Sounds good to me. All right. So it looks like we're going to be doing the map Capital Ruins and the game mode Skirmish. Now, this is 4v4, so shout out to my team I just got randomly match made with. And shout out to the other team. Let's get it. Looks like one of our guys has a mic. Which is nice. Usually people play, they don't even run mics. They're just either do their own thing or they, they run together. Look at that. Two Ouroboros and a Kingbreaker. Oh, man. And then matching it up with my Capacitor. And this uh, Pulse of Death build. Oof. This thing's nasty. All right, here we go. Conflict PvP. The game mode is Skirmish. In three, two, one. Run! Before your reinforcements are spent. And away we go. Now I am running a all six skill tier build, so my capacitor is still hitting pretty wicked hard, but it's all about the skills. So we're gonna see what happens here. Hostile, explosive seeker mine detected. All right, no one in the center. Oh man, he got a snipe. Another guy got a secret mine kill. Nice, that's a good start. Side. There we go. Nice. GG's. Yo, I just hit him for 20k. Look at that. 18k per tick. Yep, 16k per tick. And then the seeker mine's really gonna hurt him. So watch this one. Oh, I'm dead. Vital signs. Uh, iron lung. Oh, snap. Clutch pickup. Yo, clutch. Clutch pickup. GG's. GG's with the clutch pickup, my guy. There, catch that seeker. Oof. That seeker's hitting him for pretty hard, too. Getting a lot of damage for really just hitting my skills. The boost is being taken by allies. But that's what this is all about. It's just all about Hostile. the Explosive pulse of death. Detected. The boost has been taken by allies. Hostile hive detected. Yep, just hit him for 18k. Let's see what I can do here with this secret mine. Here we go. Boom. They call me Mr. Bombastic. Hostile defender drone detected. The enemy is about to be pulled out. 
Yeah. But you can see I'm just throwing out the seekers, hitting the pulse, I'm doing a hell of a lot of damage. Got him. Mm. I'm at 24 million damage already. And that's just the slow burn of the pulse. That's all it is. Mercy rule. Ooh, that's a mercy rule. GG's. Jammer Pulse of Death. You've won an emphatic victory. An emphatic well victory. Emphatic. Emphatic. And what? Emphatic. A MVP with a pulse build. Let's go. Make sure you hit that like. Let's get it. The Jammer Pulse of Death. The Jammer Pulse of Death. All right, uh, 1.1 million XP. I went 3, 0, oh, and 4. 26 million damage. Let's go. 